on the problem. Oh, yeah. Look, here are the pictures from the school picnic. Oh, great. Oh, there we are in the sack races. That's my favorite part of the picnic every year. The races are fun, but I like the ice cream. Your mom always makes the best. Hey, do you remember the water balloons? How could I forget? I got soaked on the last row. Okay, where should we sit? Um, let's sit over by the bench. Come on. Okay. Okay, Barney. What shall we show you again we've known ever since we were very little? One, two, clap with me. Pat a cake, pat a cake, baker's men. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Roll it and pat it and mark it with a B. And put it in the oven for Barney and me. Hi, Ashley. Hi, Alyssa. Can we play? Sure, come on. Tradition is a special way of doing things that families share together. Well, I'm not sure my family has any traditions. I don't have any sisters. <laughs> traditions aren't just about sisters, Robert. There are all kinds of traditions. <laughs> In August, 
when it's hot, we drive up to the lake. Our vacation at the lake is a family tradition. We gather as a family, we feel Thanks, guys. So there are lots of traditions. That's right. Some happen every day, and others happen only on certain days, like holidays. But most importantly, traditions are special times you spend with your family. Hmm. Well, my family does lots of things together, but I'm still not sure if they're traditions. What should we play now? Hmm, let's see what else can we play. Hey, Ashley, remember our favorite game to play at Sister Celebration? Yes, I do. Yeah. Come on, we can all play. Robert, Barney, mm -hmm. come on over and play Luby Lou. Oh, yeah. oh, Luby Lou. Luby Lou, we'll follow you. Oh, yeah. Here we go, Luby Lou. Here we go, Luby Lou. Here we go, Luby Lou. All on a Saturday night. I put my right hand in. Mm -hmm. I put my right hand out. I give my hand a shake, 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 and turn myself about. Here we go, Luby Loo. Here we go, Luby Light. Here we go, Luby Loo. On a Saturday night. I put my left hand in. I put my left hand out. I give my hand a shake, 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 and turn myself about. Here we go, Luby Loo. Here we go, Luby Light. Here we go, Luby Loo. On a Saturday night. Put my whole self out. I give myself a shake, 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 and turn myself about. Here we go, Luby Lou. Here we go, Luby Lou. Here we go, Luby Lou. All in a friendly way. That was really fun. We always have fun playing with our family. Here we go, Luby Lou. I'm always ready, Luby Lou. That Ruby Lou was quite something. My, 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 my. Oh, it's fun. <laughs> oh, Kristen, that's a very pretty bracelet. Thanks. I got it for my birthday. Ooh, a birthday bracelet. That's very special. Uh-huh. My grandmother got it for her 10th birthday. Then she gave it to my mother for her 10th birthday. And this year, my mother gave it to me for my 10th birthday. Ooh. What are these? They're charms. It's a charm bracelet. Oh. Why, some of those charms look like they've been around a long time. <laughs> like me. <laughs> well, I don't think they're quite as old as you, Barney. Oh. But they have been in my family for a long time. I love to listen to my mom and grandmother tell their stories about these charms. Oh, so those charms are a special way to learn about your family. That's right. Oh. Hey, I just thought of something special my family shares on birthdays. What's that? birthday fiesta. My family has a big party to celebrate birthdays. Oh, yes, 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 yes. A wonderful birthday tradition. Oh, yes, 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 yes. A fiesta is a great big party. Always lots of fun. With food and fun and games and singing. It's for everyone. Let's have a fiesta. Fiesta. We will have the best. It's a party for me and you. Ooh. A fiesta is a great big party. Always lots of fun. With food and fun and games and singing. It's for everyone. Let's have a fiesta. Fiesta. We will have the best of food and fun and games and singing.
Hola, amigo. Buenos días. That means hello, my friends, and good day in Spanish. Stella, you look beautiful. That's a very pretty dress. Gracias. That means thank you. I've just come from Mexico. I was dancing at a Mexican fiesta with some of my friends when I heard you singing one of my favorite songs. If we were singing a song, my family always sings at birthday parties. Ooh, I just love birthday parties. Me too. Yeah. There's music and dancing. Yeah, and cake. And cake. Stella, this is a special present I got for my birthday. Oh, what a lovely charm bracelet. You know, charms help us remember special times. And, well, that reminds me of a story. Would you like to hear it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Robert, would you put this on the table for me, please? Sure, Stella. Oh, here, Robert. I'll help you. Gracias, Barney. Oh, de nada. You're welcome. This is the story of a little girl and a special blanket her mother made just for her. It's called the Story Quilt because it was put together with special pieces of cloth. The little girl's mother made the quilt for her to keep her warm when the cold winter winds blew. First, she stitched a white snowflake taken from grandmother's soft flannel gown. Then she stitched a pretty pink flower taken from big sister's old skirt. The flower looked just like the ones growing in the garden. Next, she stitched a bright blue bird taken from father's worn work shirt. The bird looked just like the one that sang outside the little girl's window every morning. And she even stitched a brilliant yellow star taken from the little girl's favorite dress, which was too small for her to wear now. And finally, the little girl's mother stitched a warm red heart taken from her apron to remind the little girl how much she loved her. And the little girl loved the quilt. And she wrapped it tied around her when she was cold, and it kept her warm. Now, as the little girl grew tall, the quilt grew small. So she folded it neatly and stored it in her trunk in the attic. And as time passed, she forgot all about the quilt. And the little girl grew into a woman, Mary, and had a daughter of her own. Then one night, as the cold winter wind blew, her daughter asked her for a blanket to keep her warm. And the woman remembered the quilt. She went to the attic where the old trunk was stored and found the quilt. As she pulled it out, she saw the soft white snowflake the pretty pink flower, the bright blue bird, the brilliant yellow star, and the warm red heart. The woman wrapped the quilt tightly around her daughter. And with it, she wrapped her in the love of her family. And the little girl loved the quilt. The end. <laughs> oh, that was a wonderful story, Stella. Oh, it's my pleasure. You see how those different patches made a beautiful quilt? Well, it's kind of like the way different people come together to make beautiful families. <laughs> oh, a family is people and a family is love. That's a family. They come in all different sizes and different kinds. But mine's just right for me. Yeah, mine's just right for me. A friend who lives with his mom and dad, with his brother and sister too. They've got a cat and a dog and a pet bullfrog, and I'm really glad they do. There's a girl I know who lives with her mom. Her dad lives far away. Although she sees her parents just one at a time, they both love her every day. Oh, a family is people and a family is love. That's a family. They come in all different sizes and different I know a boy who's few, he just moved in, he moved from Alabama, and the person 
who's the head of his family is his loving dear old grandma. So a family is people and a family is love. That's the family. It's really quite a party. Oh, I hear them playing my song. <laughs> Adios, amigos. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye. 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 I'd like to make a quilt like the one in the story. <laughs> Me too. Uh, but that would take a long time. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, Ashley, remember the flags Grandma made for each of us? Sure, she made us a birthday flag. She put our names on it and pictures of things we like. Instead of birthday flags, we can make family flags. So we could put pictures on them that tell something special about our family. Oh, that's a super deep, super idea. <laughs> but I'm not sure we have all the things we need to make a flag. Well, this sounds like a job for... <laughs> Oh, I've been looking in my Barney bag, and I found a lot of things. <laughs> Gizmos and gadgets, odds and ends, and even some old strings. So the class goes down to question, what can we make today? With imagination and the Barney bag, we'll see what we can make today. Yeah, we'll see what we can make today. Oh, <laughs> Lots of felt. These flags are going to look terrific. <laughs> My flag is going to be red, white, and green. Ooh. I'm going to make a scrumptious chocolate cake coming. Oh, good. Oh, they're looking terrific. <laughs> Doing a good job. Almost finished. Oh boy! Oh, I can't wait to see them when they're done. Oh yeah, great. I love it. Oh, let's hang the flags where everyone can see them. How about the railing? Oh, good oh yeah. Idea. Right there on the clothesline. Oh, I really like the colors on your flag, Robert. These are the colors of Mexico's flag. Every year when we celebrate Mexico's birthday, we fly the Mexican flag and have a fiesta. It's a special day for my family. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, that looks like a scrumptious cake on your flag, Alyssa. It is. My mother always bakes me a cake, especially for my birthday. Oh, I love chocolate cake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, are those books on your flag, Ashley? Of course. I love to read. And every week we go to the library and get a new book. It's fun. Oh, I think reading is fun, too. Yeah, I like it. Oh, what pretty flowers are growing on your flag, Kristen. Thanks, Barney. Every spring, I help my grandma plant her garden. I love to watch the flowers grow. Oh. I like the flowers. You know, that reminds me. I go camping in the fall each year with my family. Hey, that's another tradition. Oh, that's right. Camping is a really fun tradition. I know. Let's pretend we're going camping right now. Oh, oh yeah, that's great. But we're not dressed for camping. Hmm. Right well, maybe I can help with that. Whoa! Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 right this way, campers. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> A camping we will go, a camping we will go, hi-ho the a camping we will go. Oh, oh, good, everybody. We pitch the tent right here, we pitch the tent right here, hi-ho the Dario, we pitch the tent right here. Oh, okay. We'll crawl into the tent, we'll crawl into the tent, hi-ho the Dario, we'll crawl into the tent. Lots of fun. We're having lots of fun. Hi, 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 hi
that's what my favorite part of camping is. It's something we do on every camping trip. Sleeping in a tent? No, that's not it. Is it playing outside? Well, I like that, but it's something even better. Mm. Building a campfire with your dad? No, that's not my favorite part of camping. Well, I wonder what it could be. Should I tell you? Yeah. Yeah. It's making s'mores. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Yummy for my tummy s'mores. <laughs> Let's make some right now. <laughs> You get a graham cracker and you break it in two. We get a graham cracker and we break it like you. You get a chunk of chocolate and you put it right there. We get a chunk of chocolate and we do it with flair. You roast the marshmallow, you get it real hot. We roast the marshmallows and we like them a lot. You swish them all together and take a big bite. Mmm, s'mores, you know it's all right. Crackery, crackers, the wickedy sweet. Camping, we always make s'mores. It's a tradition. Mm. Would you like one too, Miss Edda? No, thank you, dear. I mustn't eat too many sweets. Okay. Camping is great. Maybe we can make our next sister celebration a camping trip. Oh, yeah, I like that. My idea. favorite part of camping was the s'mores. They were delicious. Mm. Well, I'd say your family has some really fun and tasty traditions, Robert. You're right. I just never thought of them as traditions before. Well, there is one thing I always like to do when I'm with my friends. In fact, I'd even say it's a tradition. <laughs> I love you. You love me. We're a happy family with a great big hug and a kiss from me to you. Won't you say you love me too? with us. Oh, thanks. <laughs> and let's make this a tradition, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, you guys, have you seen the pictures from the school picnic yet? Ooh. No, I haven't. I'm sure I saw some pictures of you two. Let's go take a look. Oh, oh yeah. boy. Bye. Adios. Bye. Bye. friends. I'm glad you came to play. Our fun and learning never end. Here's what we did today. Traditions are special ways of doing things that family and friends share together. Like reading a wonderful story, making family flags, and sharing a yummy snack. And remember, I love you. <laughs> Bye.